Hi guys, Ivan Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're going to do a video on the top three attractions to visit in Fremantle when you're on a short stay. So this is quite quick um, and um, precise. So behind me there's the Fremantle Prison and that there is the number or one of the attractions you should visit when you're in Fremantle. So uh, we won't be going in because we have done a a video on Fremantle Prison and um, you can see that video because that's quite a comprehensive video on the prison because we actually went in there so um, it's it's closed actually the prison uh, it doesn't operate as a prison anymore so it just operates for people to go in and have a look and there is a cost involved so it's a uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2010 this prison and um, the prison was built by convict labour between 1852 and 1859 using limestone quarried from the site. So there's a lot of limestone over here in Fremantle. And this part here is just the quarters of the, um, the doctors and the judges and what have you going through here. Yeah. And the first uh, prisoners moved into the main cell block in 1855. So uh, a long time ago, guys. This year is the superintendent's residence over here. Quite a, quite a nice look. They're all quite nice, actually, these uh, residences. And um, the last time we were here, the gardens were looking absolutely shocking. They're looking very nice now. So um, they must have made a bit of money and starting to do some work on them. And um, the prison was decommissioned on the 8th of November 1991. So um, a few years ago now that the prison was closed down, but it's still standing. And guys, this prison was a place for hangings, floggings, escapes and riots. So what do you guys think? Visit this place when you're in, in Fremantle next, or in Perth, Western Australia. It's quite interesting. We might, um, we might uh, put our video on, um, on the prison in the link below for you guys to, so you can have a look, attach it to this video. But it's quite an interesting um, place out here, the old Fremantle prison. What we'll do now, guys, is take you to the next attraction to visit whilst in Fremantle on a short stay. We'll see you there shortly. Okay, guys, the, the next um, attraction that you must visit when you're in Fremantle is the Fremantle Markets. And this is it over here. Been here since 1897, these markets. It has over 150 stalls where you can buy just about anything. It's um, usually got music playing in here, guys. So uh, we might have to... I'll, st I'll stop talking. So I won't be able to talk over the music. But um, this is it, yeah. We'll just take it for a quick whiz around. we have actually um, done a video on Fremantle Market so we will link that to this one. It's um, not much music, there's no music actually playing, there's a guy in front there, an indigenous guy playing the didgeridoo and that's about it. So that's good, not much music. So this will just give, we're just going to give you guys a quick whiz around the markets here, just to show you a few things that you can buy. And uh, Susan's just slapped her legs into fifth gear there, 
She's taken off. And now I've got a dicky ankle. So what do you guys think of Frio Markets? Frio Markets, as the locals call them. Pretty good spot. Come down, guys, check it out. It's a pretty good spot. You can buy anything here. There's food, wine, um, fruit and veg. Okay guys, what we might do now is take you to the next part of our um, tour and show you around there. So guys, we haven't gone to the next section. We, Susan wanted to show you the fruit and veggie area here. But we're not quite there yet, I don't think. It is absolutely packed. Yeah, this is I don't know. How you going, mate? Horror movie now. <laughs> it is absolutely packed. This is a good place to catch COVID which we don't want to catch. We're still in the Fremantle markets, guys. And uh, here's the fruit and veggie area. Nice, fresh fruit and veg. Check this out, guys. Um, a little bit expensive in my view. But um, nevertheless, it looks quite good. Nine bucks for a pound of the strawberries. Pretty expensive. And 18 bucks for the bigger one. Yeah, that is expensive. Okay, we'll get out of here now, guys, and show you the next attraction that you must visit in Fremantle when you're here next. See you there shortly. And the next attraction, guy, is, guys, is Fishing um, Boat Harbour. And that across there is Little Creatures Brewery. Now, believe it or not, that used to be a crocodile farm years ago. And now is it a, quite a good brewery. Never ever been in there, guys, so, but it looks good and there's always a good write-ups about it. So we'll uh, take a little walk around um, Fishing Boat Harbour because there's a lot of restaurants and, pu and pubs and stuff out here. And uh, you can have a look around here. Sadly, a few have closed down, like the one coming up right here, Joe's Fish Shack. It's no longer. Hopefully they're going to restore it and, um, and put something else in there. It's quite an eyesore, actually. So as this fisherman's um, fishing boat harbour, has it gone down in recent years? Because Joe's has been closed for a while now and nothing's been done. So the harbour was built in 1919. So, but of course, none of these things were here. Um, it provides large sheltered mooring areas and wharf space for vessels up to 60 metres long. So there's the famous Cicerellos there in front of us. They established 1903. Because I remember the old Cicerellos <coughs> when um, we lived in Beaconsfield and that was just a little white building on a hill somewhere out here. I remember crossing a, 
a, a, a, a limestone gravel track to get to it. And here's the, the famous Bon Scott, a statue of Bon Scott, lead singer, obviously of the group ACDC in the day. Uh, born 1946, died 1980. That's him there. So uh, Joe's fish shack over here has been cordoned off, so maybe maybe there is something going to happen. Because it looks like the workers have been in here, or they kept the homeless out. I don't know that that um, that fence around the temporary fence. So there's a bit of the harbour there, guys and a few of the boats over there. There's much more boats in the distance over there. And um, this water is quite calm in here. Really calm, actually. And the Cicerellos we see today is not the original building. Like I said, it used to be an old white building years ago, if my memory serves me correctly. The original Cicerellos was built on thousands of cement filled bags to reclaim the sea. So there you go. And there's all the restaurants and stuff. There's Kayla's over there. It's a fish um, restaurant. There's Cha Cha, -cha over there. Um, you've got Cicerellas, of course, like I mentioned. You've got a few other places in here. So if you want something nice to eat, come out here, check it out. And it's quite relaxing on a summer's day. Looking at the water over there, sitting al fresco style over here. Needs a bit of a clean up though. Looks becoming a bit grubby in my view. Needs to be restored. But anyway, that's the way they've done it. So this boardwalk that we're walking on now, this is in front of Cicerellos, this was installed in 2003. So what do you guys think of um, Fishing Boat Harbour in Fremantle? One of the attractions you should visit when you're in Fremantle. So what we'll do now, guys, is um, there's a bit of music playing there, so we don't want to get done for that. Um, we've got, we mentioned three places to take you guys to, but we have got a bonus, so we'll take you to the bonus one shortly. So this here is um, the bonus attraction, guys, and it's called Bathers Beach. There's also a lot of uh, cafes and restaurants here. We, we sh it's winter now in Perth, but we showed you this because on a summer's, hot summer's day, it's beautiful out here. You can sit over here on the beach sand and eat. So this will be nice on a, there's still people sitting over there on their deck chairs over there. But it still needs um, sprucing up, in my opinion. It, it really seriously looks a bit run down. Come on, Fremantle Council. Spruce the place up. Doesn't look good at all. The government wants to attract visitors. I wonder what they're saying about this place when they come here and go back home. Because it doesn't look that good at all. Needs sprucing up. So guys, in the distance over there, that's the, the roundhouse. You can go there also. And uh, the Maritime Museum is to your left of that roundhouse. So you can see, um, the roundhouse was um, built in late 1830 and opened in 1831 believe it or not, as a prison. And there's uh, stories about it being haunted and all sorts of stuff. See the beach over here, it's quite calm, quite uh, nice on a hot summer's day. There are kids playing in the water now. So uh, what we might do, guys, is just wrap it up over here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, this, enjoyed this three top attractions in Fremantle whilst on a, sm on a short visit. 
Um, we chucked in a bonus one there for you. Don't forget to give it the thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next one.